Hey what's up people, it's your girl Kiki and in today's video I'm going to be letting you know which porosity Miel products work best for. Okay so we're going to start off with one of my favourites. If you don't have this product you are missing out because this is one of the best products. This works really well for low porosity hair, medium porosity hair and high porosity hair. So if you are either of those, make sure you get this product. Next product I actually don't have physically because I just threw it out because I use all of it, which is the pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner. This one is also really good for low porosity hair, medium porosity hair and high porosity hair. The Rosemary and Mint Strengthening Shampoo. This one is also suited for all porosities. I would definitely say more so medium or low porosity because it does contain a a really tiny tiny amount of protein towards the end which high porosity girls are probably going to miss out on a little bit so I would go with medium to high porosity for this one. Next up is the Rosemary Mint Strengthening Oil. This one is also good for all porosities. This is definitely one of their key main bestsellers so this one is definitely good for all porosities. Okay moving on to the Hawaiian Ginger Rain. This is their moisturising leave-in conditioner. I would recommend this for low porosity or medium porosity hair. Obviously if you are high porosity you can still use it but I definitely would recommend it for the low or medium porosity types because it doesn't really contain that much protein and high porosity gals need that little bit of protein. Next up we have the shampoo from this range, really nice shampoo, really nice and moisturising actually, it's not too stripping so I definitely recommend this for high, medium or low porosity girls as well. Okay next up is the Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner, this one says it is a protein and moisture balanced product and I know from a lot of feedback that a lot of low porosity girlies love this one as a strengthening mask because it doesn't contain lots of harsh proteins in it so yes if you are low porosity and you want to get a little bit of a protein fix into your regimen get this product it is a good one but also yeah if you are high porosity can use it I wouldn't use it as a staple or try and I'll try to get like a massive protein treatment in with it because as I said it's not got that much protein in it and it's not that strong so definitely low or medium porosity for this one. Okay, moving on to the detangling co-wash I would recommend this for medium or low porosity hair types also high can use it but I would definitely recommend medium or low porosity. Next up is the flexible hold edge gel that is the honey and ginger one this one and um, I would recommend this for high or medium porosity there is a little bit of protein but it's towards the end so if you're low porosity and you are sensitive to protein I would still go with this because it's not that much um, and I don't think it will affect you that badly next up we have the Brazilian Kelly cocktail mousse I would recommend this one for either low porosity or medium porosity hair it doesn't really contain that much protein so it may not give you a great hold that is one thing I know about holding products and containing that bit of hydrolyzed wheat protein. Sometimes it is needed to give a little bit of a good hold. And for me personally, this one didn't really work too well. Um, so yeah, if you are type 4 curly and you're looking for definition, maybe give this one a miss. But if you are type 3 girly, um, definitely use this one if you are medium or low porosity. Okay, so make sure you click here if you want to see any of my other reviews on porosity or general hair reviews. And I will see you in the next video.